President Obama is headed to Boise, and yesterday BSU students got a chance to score tickets to hear him speak on campus. Thousands of students stood in line that wrapped over and around the Student Union building. Check this out. Some students were stuck waiting for well over an hour, but most say it was well worth it. Idaho doesn't generally get the opportunity to be involved in, in larger po political events like this, and I'm super excited to be invited to something like this and um, you know, be engaged in politics in general. The public also got their chance to score some tickets. Some people started camping out as early as 6.30 yesterday morning, but many people came away empty-handed as all of the tickets were gone in less than an hour. And people in the Treasure Valley are excited about the president's visit, but many people are still wondering what the president will talk about and why he chose Idaho in the first place. Glenn Beebe asks Idaho's Democratic leaders for insight into Boise's selection. Thousands waited in line at BSU for the opportunity to hear the president speak when he comes to Boise. But not even they have any idea exactly what he might say. Many Democrats have been asking the same question. They have a few ideas on why the president would highlight the gem state. We know our business leaders. We know our political leaders. Um, we are, uh, we're small America. We're a small state. We're a great state. The president has been leaking some details about what his State of the Union will consist of. One part includes his plan to make community college free, which seems ideal to talk about in Idaho because we have one of the lowest go-on rates in the nation. Dems believe the GEM state would also be a place to highlight the president's plan for workers. Our uh, family incomes are at the bottom of the nation. When we talk about policy that is designed to help American workers, Idaho is exactly the place where that kind of policy can help. Presidents often make their way to different parts of the country after a State of the Union to drum up support for their ideas, although many have wondered why such a red state like Idaho would be the place. Ferguson believes Idaho residents highlight a sense of working together. Is that we're patriotic and we're Americans first. Um, we may differ on politics, but, you know, we tend to like each other. We're neighbors. Glenn Beebe, KBOI News, Boise. And Idaho Democratic leaders stressed that this is a White House event and not just for Democrats. But they said Boise's warm reception of President Obama back in 2008 when he was still a candidate may have played a role in choosing Boise. Well, the president will share his remarks at a much smaller venue this year compared to the first time he visited the Gem State. He'll speak at the Caven Williams Sports Complex on the Boise State campus. The venue can hold 3,500 people in what's called a banquet configuration. We asked the Secret Service why the smaller building, but the special agent said only that it was a White House decision. Boise police say they're doing their part to make sure everything runs smoothly tomorrow. In a statement, police writes, the U.S. Secret Service is the lead agency on presidential security details. Boise police are assisting to ensure the event is safe for the president, as well as those who wish to attend his speech at Boise State University. Now, officers did not release more details, saying they do not want to jeopardize security. And ACHD is warning drivers to expect significant delays on Broadway and Capitol tomorrow afternoon. Crews will block off parking spots on several streets near BSU starting tonight at 7 o'clock. The same goes for a section of Gowan Road near the airport. ACHD warns drivers that vehicles parked in no parking zones will be towed. Anyone traveling through the Boise Airport on Wednesday may run into some delays as well. An airport spokesman tells KBOI2 travelers could see delays of 15 minutes to half an hour. That's because airspace shuts down around the times that Air Force One takes off and lands. Well, the wife of a Boise pastor currently imprisoned in Iran is hoping to speak with the president while he's here. Nagme Abedini is trying to get a meeting with President Obama. Her husband, Saeed, has been jailed for more than two years for practicing Christianity. Organizers on Facebook are asking for supporters to pray that Nagmi will be able to speak to the president. A free Saeed rally is planned for tomorrow. And you can stay with KBY 2 News for continuing coverage of the president's visit. We're going to carry his remarks live right here on KBOI. And in between newscasts, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter.